Good morning, traders. This is a live trade recap. I took one trade this morning right around 4 a.m. I have it on video. We're going to go over it right now. If you like this sort of thing, hit the like button. If you'd like to see these videos daily, please subscribe. So I always start with the Weeble top gainer screener. Select pre-market, click on all, and then organize by volume. And you can see the number one stock being traded right now is INVO. So it automatically goes on the watch list. And let's get to the video. So there it is around right around 4 a.m. exactly, INVO, number one stock. So I put it on my watch list. Weeble does this thing pretty regularly where um, the chart doesn't um, present itself correctly and you have to flip through the time frames and that seems to be the quickest way to uh, get it to correct. So it looks normal here on the five minute chart and I'm using that to mark out the high of the previous session. You can see that the stock is also trading higher than the previous day and that's my signal to look for an entry but uh, you can see the chart is still messed up so I just keep on flipping through all the time frames I think this is just like a 4 a.m. thing you know you're starting a new market session and uh, it's the beginning of the pre-market because it seems to happen every day but and today it took abnormally numerous amount of times to uh, flip through the time frames but you can see it finally fixed itself so again this is the high of the previous session and this is the opening candle of the pre-market you could use this candle if you want to as your point a so now i'm waiting for point b to finish this is almost identical to the trade i took yesterday it's even around the same price range and it's a different stock So this is point B, and now I'm waiting for the pullback to finish for point C. EYES was also on the top gainer screener, but I wasn't that concerned about it because I figured it'd probably be trading lower than the previous day, and it was. You saw me just mark out the um, the high was 1482 yesterday, and you can see that today it's trading around 1328. So I just threw it up there to see if it went through that previous high, but so far nothing. All right, so here's the pullback. So now we definitely have point A, point B, and then it looked like it was about to jump and break out over this candle, which I would have taken that entry, even though that would have been um, a bit riskier because I would have had to have my stop all the way down here. And my entry would have been around 635, <clears throat> but that's my plan. You know, as soon as a one minute candle makes a new high, I have to enter no matter what. And then if it fails, if it stops me out, then I look for the next entry but that didn't happen here one thing to uh, note when you're doing trading like this trading these one minute candles is always keep an eye on the clock so that when a new candle starts to form you're ready because um, once that happens now my entry is no longer that 635 but it's for the break of the high of this candle which is 627 so when the next candle starts to form, if it makes a price of 628 or better, then I have to get in. So here we are just a few seconds away now. You see it's very close to the high, high of this candle, so that's something you really have to watch. So I'm looking for 628 or better, so I'm watching that bubble. There, 630, get in. Pretty much an ideal entry. And uh, I, I just use that line that I was using to mark the high of day to mark my stop loss which will be one cent below the bottom of this candle using my 2R calculator which is available on my Facebook page if you go to the uh, trading arm or trading group and it's moving pretty quick so I went ahead and put my sell order out marking out where my profit target is that way if I have to cancel that order that I have a line there for easy reference because sometimes these things chop around so much you get your profit target order out then you have to cancel it just in case the price comes down and stops you out and then you need to put it back out again so uh, you can see here it got just three cents shy of my profit target and again if you saw me trading this a few months ago I would have definitely been tempted and almost certainly pulled that down 
and left who knows how many cents on the table because after a while you're going to be chasing this candle on the way down and you're just going to keep pulling it down pulling it down pulling it down and before you know it you left 30 cents per share on the table so you know i'm looking for a 50 cent move here so if i leave 30 cents on the table then you know that's less than that's like turning uh the 2r trade into like a 0.4 r trade so you can see here it's coming down near my position but it doesn't really go below it so i leave the profit target out i'm just playing with these lines getting things settled i don't really care what's going on at this time it's just a matter of waiting to see if it either hits my profit target or comes down and stops me out so just adjusting these lines trying to get them to the perfect scent mark just gives me something to do while this is chopping around instead of me focusing on how choppy it is and boom right there so this is what one, three one minute candles in and I'm filled and yeah this thing did go up considerably higher but I don't really care about that I'm in it for 2R and that's it so uh, I used to try to chase these things and scale out on the way and I ended up uh, leaving more money on the table than if I just took a, a 2R profit target like I did here today so that's it uh, let me show you the results in Weeble and I'll show you my spreadsheet as well so that's for today again it's a small cash account I'm only trading each trade with 10% position size so $61 right now I just upped it to 62 after that trade I pretty much round up so that was a 448 profit and it was a little bit lower than yesterday's because the risk was lower <clears throat> it was right at about 4% risk and I generally like to be right around 5% so that's pretty good there's the order so you can see that's the only orders that I placed this morning and that's today and then look at the week so far and the month so far so doing pretty well for a small cash account already up over eight percent forty seven dollars and uh, that's pretty much all from these early morning trades there's just two little stocks here that's adding like 70 cents there were some free stocks that i got so let's take a look at the spreadsheet really quick again you can get the spreadsheet from my uh trading armor facebook group if you like so you can see we started the month with uh, 570 dollars and it's up to 617 already and um, average pnl per day is pretty high that's because of the um, 18 dollars you know and i say high because this is a cash account and average percent change per day again pretty high but um you know i had one big winner in there too that's that's bumping those numbers up quite a bit so here's the trade I took this morning, INVO. I'm only trading this pattern right now. It's working out really well. I don't expect it to work like this all the time. This is abnormally um, easy trading. My win rate is almost 90%, which is ridiculous. And um, I don't expect that to continue with this 2R trading. Generally, you're looking for like 50, 60%. So right now, it's just... Um, I guess the gravy train rolled into the station for me, so I'm just going to ride it as long as I can, and I'm building up a cushion for um, when things go back to normal. That's the way I'm looking at it. So here's my monthly P&L, 4648, slightly lower than this number, and that's just because of those two stocks. So if you have any questions about this trade or any others, please let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them. And I always like to leave you with always take your stop loss no matter what. Honor your profit target, and you should be green in the long run. Take care.